Welcome back fuckers, all right, we're gonna quickly cover how to add a message and a sound bite to a trigger that's fired, just to uh, let you guys know when you're flying a mission, if you wanna bring up like a uh, little message to remind people that something's happened or something has happened and they need to react to it, we're gonna go through how to do that now. We're gonna use it, we're gonna add it to a uh, an F10 um, trigger activation. So when we what we want to do when we spawn in our KC-130 refueler. Okay, we want to make it, it's going to pop up a message saying KC, or sorry, Texaco 1-1 on station and we're going to make it play a sound. We're going to go through how to do that now. So if you want to figure out how to use F-10 radio commands, there is a YouTube video that I made in my DCS Mission Making for Dummies playlist. Check that shit out, have a watch, and you'll be full bottle on what we're about to do. So all we're going to do is just add on top of that radio F-10 command trigger that we put in. And we're going to add a couple more things. So you're going to go into actions, you're going to go new, you're going to scroll down here, you're going to go message to. All right, and you can go message to all, message to coalition, message to country, message to group. We're going to go message to coalition, and we're going to select coalition blue because we're spawning in the blue, uh, the blue refueler. So only blue needs to know. And we're going to call it Texaco 1 1 on station ready for tasking. All right, make it sound, do whatever you want, okay? Type whatever the fuck you want in there. That's what's gonna pop up in the text. So now we're gonna make seconds, so this is how long it's gonna stay on the screen. So if you wanna be a total arse hat, you can put it for like five minutes and it will not disappear for five minutes and piss everyone off, or you can be normal and put it for like 10 to 20 seconds. And then clear view is it either makes it opaque or not opaque, all right? That's the difference for the, uh, it'll actually put a, a background on, on the writing, okay? Or if you go clear view, there'll be no background straight up so that's it that's going to put a message in and now we're going to go again add a new action we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to sound to all right same option sound to all sound to coalition sound to country sound to group sound to coalition coalition is going to be blue and we're going to add in a audio file so if you want to use audio files make sound bites and or voiceovers or whatever you want to do make sure you um, make your audio file a .ogg file all right, it's going to make your mission file way smaller and it's minimal quality loss. So uh, quick and easy way, just go on Google and just Google MP3 to OGG converter and it'll come up with a, you know, a website that'll do it for free. Just click and drag your uh, MP3 byte into that or convert it to OGG. So it makes your mission files way smaller. Okay, so we're going to use this one, Morse code. That's what it sounds like. All right, done. And that's it, that's all we gotta do. So when we go into the mission right now, it's going to, when we spawn it in with the F10 menu, it's gonna pop up a message saying Texaco 1-1 on station, ready for tasking, and it's gonna play that Morse code sound. So let's do that now. See you in the jet and we'll give it a run. Alright, we're in the jet. Jet is running, so let's uh, just go to F10 real quick, just confirming that the uh, KC-130 has not spawned yet. Alright, it's not flying around. We can see our E3 uh, AWACS there flying around. We're at Batumi. And we're in the jet. So now we're going to bring up our radio menu. We're going to go to F10 other, which is where your uh, radio commands will be put in. And we've got our option there, F1 tanker available. So when I press this button, it's going to play that Morse code sound and it's going to say what we just typed in before. So here we go. We are Texaco 1 1 on station, ready for tasking. All right, play the Morse code button. And we are good. We'll go to F10, confirm. KC 130 has spawned in. Job done. So there you have it guys, that's how you put a message in and a soundbite for when a trigger fires to let everyone know what the hell is going on in your missions. Alright guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button on the video and if you haven't already, hit the big old subscribe button while you're at it. It helps me out with the YouTube channel and lastly, if you haven't also come on by uh, Monday to Friday, I stream on Twitch at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time because I'm in Australia. Uh, no idea what that is in America, it's late, but uh, if you're struggling to sleep, come on in and uh, have a laugh with uh, my stupidity and shenanigans that I get up to in DCS. Right, guys, hope it helped. I'll catch you guys on the next one.